Welcome to another episode of Talk Times with Grimes. And today I'd like to talk to you about a wonderful new program that we're introducing into the school. We launched something called our Driver Training Program at our Business Industry Dinner. Now these simulators uh, were purchased thanks to the wonderful support from three companies. The Advanced Group, Morse Building Consultancy and three Eaton Services. And we thank those three companies for their tremendous support. Without them, this program would simply not be possible. The simple question, what is a young life worth, was all that was needed. Now we're very fortunate to have the wonderful support of our, of our patron, Russell White. And Russell's an advocate for driver safety. So this is a really exciting program. I'm really thrilled that our college is taking it up. And to do that, we've actually developed our own driving ambassadors. Young people in our school who actually help train others on how to use the simulators and how to drive in these vehicles. And these students have all gone through advanced driving courses with Russell White and his company. So together with, with Russell and our three sponsors, we're really looking to make a difference for the safety of all of our students, but also to add to the knowledge base about driver safety right across Australia. Five families whose lives are now changed for... Teenage boy fighting for his life after a horror crash. The two night. young women who died in a crash yesterday were live on Facebook. One old girl is dead and another teen has been injured. Enough's enough and I think we've got to do something about that as a school. Road trauma is the largest killer of children from 1 to 14. I've sat with too many people who have lost children and past students who are no longer with us and I think that when you can do something, uh, you should. I'm the father of a 17 year old girl who's, who's just got her licence. It's a difficult time when your child gets those sets of keys and they go out on the road for the first time on their own. I think there's something we can do as a school to help our young people to, to be safe on the road and to hopefully uh, make better choices. So this is a high alcohol impairment goggle that Brian's wearing. It bends your vision, it really distorts your vision. Simulators actually can play a really important role in driver training before the young person actually gets behind the wheel of a real car. Simulation is something that has developed outstanding educational and training outcomes in fields like aviation, medicine, construction, all these other high risk areas. Well, I'll put you in texting mode so the blinking is like you're looking off the road to shoot a text out. These devices will actually record every mistake they make on the road, every little infringement. We can actually have the tire blow out and give children the experience of what happens during that episode so they can train for it and understand what happens in those situations. I was wrapped when I heard that the school was making that commitment. You know, I thought that was a, you know, a great leadership position. Using the simulators is also the same. And I think it, it gives us a foundation to, you know, potentially really influence how school-based education in terms of driving is actually facilitated. It is a really tight turn. You've done really well to get this far, so. Thanks. You know, I don't think it's young people necessarily being foolish on the road. I think a lot of those mistakes just come through a lack of experience. I had a car accident where I wrote my first car off in four days of driving. Uh, it wasn't my fault. The car was written off. I found myself lying outside the car uh, after the accident, covered in petrol, and I had significant injuries that prevented me from, from walking for about three months. Maybe if I'd had a little bit more experience in the car, maybe it wouldn't have happened. As a sport, you know, we wouldn't expect someone to just have a tiny little amount of, of practice or training and then throw them in the deep end as a, as a competitor. We give people a preschool level of education when it comes to driving and being on the road but expect them to perform at university level with nothing in between. For well, the program starting in year nine you actually are able to get some training done and develop some new skills and attitudes before I guess some bad habits can come in. We've got to try and make people understand that getting the licence at whatever level is simply the starting point and you really are back at, at preschool or at, or at kindergarten when it comes to driving. Starting that process earlier is, is actually one of those keys. Nicely done. One of the special parts of our program is actually partnering with uh, researchers at Griffith University to look at a longitudinal study about behaviours and attitudes towards driving of young people and that's something that's not being done at the moment in Australia. 
So this is a first where we're trying to contribute not only to the, the education of our own students, but to education and development and safety of students right across Australia. Take notice of that one-way sign, so we want the left-hand indicator on to turn left. Our sponsors, why did they do it? They have the same vision. They want the very best for our young people. So by getting involved, they're really helping to, to save lives on our roads, and that's what we should all be concerned about. So I just made that car suddenly break in front wow. of you. When our number one killer is road trauma, and we do very little about in a generic sense, it's a really powerful message as to why this program is so important. If we can start them younger and get them to understand the importance of driving uh, well and looking after themselves and others, we really believe that we'll have a far better impact on the safety of all people on the roads.